Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech View Snoop. And today, we're going to get into another Windows 10 video. In today's video, we're going to get into how to change your Wi-Fi and network settings between public and private. Unfortunately, they massively changed this between Windows 7, Windows 8, and now Windows 10. And they even changed the between the beta version of Windows 10 and right now what we have. Now, as far as things goes, in order to figure out if you're on a network that's public or private, what you need to do is go to your networking icon, right click it, and select Open Network and Sharing Center. From here, you'll see if you're on a public or private network. And what you can do is, let's just move this over so you can see it automatically change. To change that, go back to the networking icon, click on that, and then go to network settings. So from here, go to the Wi-Fi card that you want to deal with. So with me, I got two Wi-Fi cards because I cannibalize old computers that I have and just add things to my new ones like RAM and stuff like that. But uh, with this, select the Wi-Fi card you, you want to play with. You probably only have one. And then make sure it's connected to whatever network. Then go down to Advanced Options. And then you can actually select the uh, find devices and content on or off if it's on it's a private or known as trusted network if it's off as you'll see here in a second it will say public network or as known as a untrusted network so with this one in mind this is a simple way to to do it unfortunately they took a bunch of steps out so it's a little bit harder but what is the actual difference between a private and public network? If we go back to the old control panel window, if we go to the control panel itself and go to search, and if you start typing in firewall, or for me, just press F and firewall show up down here, the actual private versus public actually deals with the firewall itself, not antivirus like many people think. It deals with that firewall and more specifically what applications are able to talk and what is able to see the uh, device itself or at least components on the device so as far as this goes let's use this for example if we go to allow apps if we scroll down what we can see is things like dropbox we got on private networks only or we can select it where we can allow to public and private or we can just do the public networks only now as far as this goes you will actually find this more and more useful whenever you're dealing with security things like so for example i got software on my computer that's called a kvm that allows my computer to actually see and control other computers remotely and for that I will want to put that on a private network if all possible whereas something like games or browsers I would want it on both public and private how do I switch this go to change settings and then you will probably have a pop-up that comes up I disabled it a long time ago since I know what I'm doing and then from here you can select the boxes so as you see there and then whenever you are satisfied press ok or go back and do whatever but that's pretty much about it as far as the public versus private networks it's again just really more than less for firewall and it is very 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 useful as far as when you're traveling and using laptops and things of that nature but anyways, as far as that goes, if you do have any questions or anything else, then please feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. Also, if you 
want to next video to be on a given topic, go ahead and leave that down below in the comment section, and I'll try to take care of that as quickly as possible. Now, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and share, and check out all our other videos and also the Patreon campaign. But if you didn't like this video, simply go ahead and leave a dislike, but tell me why so I can fix it in the future videos. And I hope you have a great day. And again, my name is Craig Bennett, founder of Tech Views Note.